Hello everyone and welcome to Blackstar Potential. My name is Lee Fuge and I'm here today with MGRmusic.com and in this video we're going to start talking about alternate tunings and we're going to start with a tuning called Open G. An alternate tuning is when we retune the open strings of a guitar to match those of a specific chord. So this is used a lot in blues, rock music and also in slide guitar. So if you're a fan of bands like the Rolling Stones or the Black Crows, you've probably heard this particular tuning we're gonna talk about in this video in action. Like I said, this is called open G tuning. So what that means is the open strings of the guitar are now tuned to a G major chord. So if you've learned any chord theory, you will know about major triads and you'll know that there's only three notes that make up a G major chord, which is a G note, a B note and a D note. So I have retuned all of these strings to match that. So in this video, we're gonna explore how to get your guitar into open G tuning and some basic principles and tips that you can use as you start out on your alternate tuning journey. All of the tones you're hearing in this video is this Les Paul Jr. right here, plugged straight into the Blackstar Studio 10 6L6, which is mic'd with a Lewitt Audio LCT 440 condenser mic. I've got the amp on the drive channel with a crunch dialed in. So the first thing we need to talk about is how to get your guitar into to open G tuning. So from standard tuning, which low to high is E, A, D, G, B, E, we need to retune a couple of the strings that we have. So the string that we previously knew as the low E is getting tuned down a full tone to a D. The string that was A is now getting tuned down a full tone to a G. The next three strings on the guitar remain the same, so they stay as D, G, and B. and the high E string also gets tuned down a full tone to a D. So low to high, we have D, G, D, G, B, D. So the only notes we're gonna get now from any open string are one of the three notes that make up a G major chord. So the second thing we need to talk about is root notes and how this new tuning affects the mapping of the fretboard. So the chances are if you've started learning scales and chords, you've probably started learning a little bit of the notes and layout of the fretboard. This is so that you can find your way around easy and know exactly where to place things. In this alternate tuning, we are gonna to have to move some of the previous reference points in order to facilitate certain chords and certain scales. So this tuning does have one minor quirk that doesn't appear in all open tunings, which is that our lowest string is actually tuned to a D, not a G. Typically, we would tune the open chord so that the lowest string is the root of the chord, but in this case, we're actually taking the A string, which is now the G string, as our root note string. So we're actually using the low D string here as like an extension, so we can extend the chords into a lower register by adding what's known as a fifth below the root note. This just adds some extra depth. Many players that use Open G never use this string. So if you look at players like Keith Richards from the Rolling Stones, he actually takes this string off his guitar altogether. So he's just got the G as his root. So this means we're gonna be rooting all of our chords off this string as well. So previously, obviously the open string would have been an A note, but now it's a G. So what this means is all of the notes have moved up by two frets. So our A note isn't now an open string, it's actually the second fret. <laughs> And our C, which was previously the third fret, is now the fifth. And the D, which was previously the fifth, is now the seventh. This principle is echoed across the entire string. The same is true on the low D. If you are going to look to root anything from that string, the notes are going to be two frets higher than where they were in standard tuning. The root notes are very important for this third tip, which is how to play a major chord in an open G tuning. Now this is where the fun starts. Because the open strings are tuned to the notes of a G major chord, we can play any major chord we want with one finger. So if I just completely ignore the lowest string for now, which is the D, I'm just gonna root everything here from this G. So if I just play the open strings, I get a G major chord. <laughs> So anywhere I place my first finger and bar across the five strings from the G down, I get the major chord from that root position. So for instance, the fifth fret is a C. So if I bar across the fifth fret and play those five strings, that is a C major chord. Likewise, if I go to the seventh fret, 
it's a D major. So this is really great because we can move major chords around very easily and create chord progressions. So the fourth little tip for getting started with open G tuning is a really cool, fun type of chord that you can play, which is known as a 6 sus 4. Now this sounds a lot more complicated than it really is. This is the chord that is heavily associated with the sound of people like Keith Richards from the Rolling Stones. He will take those major chords that you've just learnt and add a 6 sus 4 extension which gives him that unique sort of rhythm sound that he has. So 6 sus 4 is very easy to play. If you've started learning chord extensions in standard tuning, you may recognize this shape as a minor seven, but because of the new interval structure based on the new tuning, obviously those intervals change. Now this is a 6 sus 4, not a minor seven. So let's start with a G, just because that's the open strings, so G major. If I want to turn this into a 6 sus 4, I first of all need to add the 6 from the major scale, which is the second fret here on the D, and the sus 4, which is the first fret on the B. So it's a very easy chord shape to start with. It's basically like playing a minor 7 chord. So if we're going to root this chord from, let's say, a C, so I've got my C major here, and I'm going to turn that into a C6 sus 4. I need to add the 6, which is the 7th fret, in this case on the D string, which I'm going to use my 3rd finger for, and then the sus4, which is the 6th fret on the B, which I'm going to use my middle finger for. So anyway, you shift that chord shape, it becomes the root note that you play with a 6 sus4 extension on it, so I could play G6 sus4, C6 sus4, D6 sus4. It's a transposable shape, so you can move this all around. One thing that people like Keith Richards do, and actually a lot of players that play in Open G will do, is they will alternate between the major chord and the 6 sus4 extension as part of a riff. And the final thing to be aware of when you play in an open tuning is the position of where your scales have gone. So let's say I'm playing off the back of a C based riff. So I'm playing C major with that 6 sus4 extension. And over the top of that, I want to add some lead guitar licks. I'd instinctively go to my C minor pentatonic but obviously that's not going to sound right now because of the shift in root notes. So what this means is the notes on the E, A and E strings, which were previously there, have all been shifted up by two frets. So my first pentatonic shape is actually now going to be this. It's going to be rooted from the 10th fret. Then I'm going to shift back to the 8th fret on the D string. And then back to the 10th fret on the high D. Now this shape isn't overly intuitive for soloing in because of those weird position shifts, but it is possible. But here is a quick little tip you can use to help with that. So if you know you're playing in C, so let's say your riff is going C with a 6 sus 4 on the top, and you want to play minor pentatonic licks over the top without remapping too much of the fretboard, what you can do is you can play the minor pentatonic scale just on the D, G, and B strings in the position that it would be in standard tuning. So for a C, it would be in that position. So my riff is going C, and then my licks can come in here, I can play all my usual bluesy legs just on the D, G, and B strings there in the position that my C minor pentatonic scale would be if I was playing in standard tuning. So there you go, there is a little overview of open G tuning, how you guys can get started with that 
and a few little tips to get you playing some stuff. Let us know down below in the comments what your favorite open G tuned guitar songs and riffs are. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out Black Star Amplification on YouTube for more lessons just like this. And if there are any topics you'd like to see us talk about in these videos, please let us know down below in the comments. If you're looking for a guitar teacher, please head to mgrmusic.com. Check out the database of music teachers. There's a great network of teachers all around the UK waiting to help you guys out. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon.